Hey friends, welcome back to the Chickadee Farm. It is the 21st day of spring and guess what? It is raining! Hooray, it's about time. I am super excited about that. What do we got tomorrow? Sunny and clear. You know what? That's okay. It is raining today. So no complaints from me. How about our fortune? Spirits are very happy today. That is awesome. A mining day for sure. And radish salad for our recipe. All right. Learning some good stuff. Dog meat's in here with us. And let's see, we are doing great on salmon berries, great on energy. Currently running level five of farming, almost level six. Got a little few more things to harvest before we level up. Oh, and our second batch of strawberries is ready to be harvested. Let's check the mail real quick though. Oh, Shane, we're friends now. Thanks, Shane. I don't think it's anybody else's birthday today, but it is Sunday, so we should head over to the traveling merchant and see what she has for sale. All right, I'm gonna pick up all of these strawberries and check and see if I've leveled up. I do have another couple of batches of strawberries coming up, so we should be leveled up by the time I pick all of those. Mm, I do think I should put another little box down here. I like to keep my bait and all my goodies in one area, make it a little easily accessible. I'm not going to be selling my uh, snails and things yet. Probably just going to be saving those until I can make some sashimi here soon. Once I start becoming friends with Linus, that is. And get a kitchen. I'm going to keep this driftwood with me because I'm going to be heading up to the mines. And that's where my recycling machine is right now. And we got a bit of time, so let's go check out the traveling merchant. Oh, right. Have our first batch of mushrooms. Awesome. And I'll get a box in this room as well later too. Because I like to keep all my mushrooms in one area and start hoarding them until I can make uh, life elixirs. Once I'm done eating all these salmon berries, I'll probably be switching over to common mushrooms. Just because they are always there. All right, what do you have for us today? Oh, five goat milk and coconuts. Oh, and a pomegranate. I don't have to make a pomegranate tree at all. I'm going to buy that. And I'm going to buy a coconut for the exotic foraging bundle. And just one goat milk to make a goat cheese. Huh. Don't need a regular egg. We have that pretty soon. And a cactus fruit. I think that's going to be... Hmm, rare seed. Yeah, the cactus fruit I'll also need for the exotic foraging bundle. Ah, oh, she wants to clean me out today. I don't want to spend the thousand dollars on those seeds just yet. I will soon. Is there something else I need? Oh, perfect. That's going to help us finish the exotic foraging bundle. I'll only need one more item for that, and I'm sure we'll run into a mushroom or get some syrup and resin or something like that here soon. Use a mushroom for that. I think I have everything for the construction bundle. I just want to hold on to my wood for a smidge a bit longer. Okay, great progress with all of that. Artisan bundle. We got a pomegranate for that. And goat milk to make that goat cheese. Well, once I get some maple, we'll start getting some honey and some jelly soon enough. 
All right, awesome. This is great news. I think the field research bundle, we have most of the things for that. Mm, nope, not yet, not yet. Okay. All right, let's drop this stuff off into my gold box. And it's Sunday. Robin should be open today. I think I'm going to pay her a little visit and see if we can finally build our coop. Is there anything else I can make? <laughs> we can make a mayo machine, but I don't have that yet. Beehive I want to make as soon as one of these trees pops up. We should work on making some tappers. Honestly, uh, I don't like making tappers and then just moving them, but it might be worth it to do it right now. Because it's going to be a little bit until those... Um, Oh shoot, there's no way that I have enough wood to make the coop. How much wood do I need for a coop? 300. Yeah, we're short by quite a bit. What was I using all that wood for? Oh, right, right, right. And you made the preserved jar thingies. Okay. I honestly really should have paid more attention to uh, how much wood I had yesterday before I built those preserved jars, but. Eh, well, it is what it is. So what I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to bring the wood and the stone with me, chop down a few trees on the way to Robin's and see how much I need left over. I'm a little bit more wood poor than I am gold poor right now. So I might have to buy some wood, but probably not too much. Being that it's such a lucky day, I really want to do some leveling in the mines. We'll be getting a lot more ladders. Uh, Rare Sebastian has appeared. Wait, let me say hello to you. Don't leave me. Oh, I see frogs all the time. All right, back to business. Hey, Robin. I think I need to buy 62 wood. 10 each. Ugh, that's so crazy. At least it's not the next year's prices. It's going to cost me 620 gold. With this and the traveling merchant, I am definitely splurging today. But you gotta spend that money to make that money. Alright. Okay, Robin. I would like to build that coop, please. Thank you very much. Now, normally in other farm setups, I would usually keep the coop kind of close by the farmhouse. But with the four corners, I was wanting to dedicate this corner of the farm to where I'm going to be keeping my animals and things like that. I'll have a little entrance right there. That should do it. Perfect. All right, I'll start working on that first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you, Robin. It is after 11 o'clock. We're going to have some good luck in the mines, I tell you. And I'm completely wiped out of wood. I do have enough money to buy chickens, though, eventually. I'm gonna have to do some lumberjack in here again soon. Just gonna get everything all prepped and ready and organized. Pop a few things in the smelter. Um, how about some quartz? And pop on down. Level 71. Now, for the most part, I usually shoot for getting all the ores on the levels that I see, but as some of you may have noticed, there are times where I'll skip an ore if I hit a ladder first, purely because I am prioritizing getting down further to the gold ore levels than I am to getting the iron ore. It might be to my detriment at a later point though, but... When I'm trying to level, that's just kind of what I do, because I can always come back for iron ore later. All right, level 75. Pop back up and toss some stuff in and make a few bars. We'll do iron since that's what we're 
getting the most of right now. is a lot of skeletons. All right. Well, what I like to do when I feel like there are <laughs> a lot of enemies around, kind of herd them all together so I can try and take them all out um, as quickly as I can all together. Perfect. Not too bad. I wish the skeletons dropped some stuff though. Ooh, that crate had some combat boots. Um, higher defense, so I think, yeah, we'll wear those for a little bit. Here we are at level 80. Fantastic. Make a little bit room for our gift. We got the Firewalker boots. Awesome. Yep, that is much better than the combat boots, so we're going to replace that. We'll pop back up real quick and get some more bars started. Past level 80, we're gonna start collecting some gold ore. There's any on this level. Oh, luckily there's a ladder. We'll just pop back down. Ooh, some mushrooms. Purple mushroom too. Awesome. Used to be able to farm these levels, but can't do that anymore. That's okay. I prefer to not play with too many exploits anyways. The great thing is, is that we have the mushroom that we need for the exotic foraging bundle. And I'll probably save the extra purple mushrooms for making life elixirs for later. Oh, I do need one for the bulletin board too. That's right. Uh, it's almost midnight and I have one more level to go. Uh, these brutes are brutal. I'm gonna say ate those berries first. All right, just gotta grab a ladder. Perfect. And then we're gonna get out of here. Whew. And I can make three gold bars. And then we really need to go take a breather real quick. It's fine. With all the stuff I have in here, I should probably, um, Get a second box or sell all the extra stuff over to the Adventurers Guild here soon. Take all our bars with us. And basic stuff that we might need around the farm. Everything else is looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna hold on to this white algae for when I can make pale broth. I like using those in the mines a lot. And time to dash home. It's after one. Oh, I don't have any time to pick up all of those goodies. Except for these wriggle worms. Mmm, buy seeds. Got a prehistoric vertebrate. And it is off to bed. Once I drop a few things off for sale. That gold star mushroom is going to be worth quite a bit. And I think I'm going to sell off most of my red mushrooms. For now, until I start gathering up and stocking the other mushrooms that I might need for making um, life elixirs. I'll save this purple mushroom for a bundle. Then I just gotta put all the other bits and bobs away and it'll be off to bed for me. 
these bars will be good for at least a couple of sprinklers. And I don't think I had any level ups today, so we're just going to have to eat a little bit extra in the morning. Say goodnight to dog meat, and let's see where we're at. Oh, I actually did level up today in combat. That's fantastic. I wasn't paying attention earlier, so I'm glad that I know that we're going to wake up with full energy tomorrow, especially because it's not raining. Sold some mushrooms. Ooh, those purple mushrooms are worth quite a bit. And 1,400 gold, not too bad. <laughs> All right, it is the 22nd day of spring, a Monday, and we just leveled up um, in combat. Yes, combat. That's right. Means that we can now craft the warrior ring. Ooh, yeah. It might be a little bit until I can collect all the stuff to make that. If I even make it. Mm, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make that ring. Okay, let's get the day started. What is our weather like gonna be tomorrow? Ooh, another rainy day. Yay, that's awesome. I'm gonna be so excited for that. And our luck. Very happy today, fantastic. Oh, and living off the land's about fishing. So today I'll either be mining or fishing. I'll think about that. Either way, I'm happy with our luck. Oh, we've got a ton of parsnips to harvest. So first, let me grab my seeds so I can multitask here a little bit. Plant as I harvest. Still working on trying to get enough quality parsnips. And that didn't give us our level up just yet. All right, so there isn't any birthdays today, not that I know of. And so our goals today are pretty basic. Robin should be working on our coop. So we're just gonna be watering our plants and then heading straight over to the mines to start collecting some gold ore. Oh, there was a strawberry I missed earlier. And we did end up getting those five golden parsnips. Uh, for the most part, I'm gonna be saving my parsnips either for pickling or um, for gifting around town because they're good for most people. Save our strawberries until the end of the season. I'll decide whether or not we need to sell them or pickle them or not pickle them, turn them into jam and jelly to make the most of our money. It just depends on how much money I need for summertime seeds. I'd like to upgrade my axe to iron so I can get to the secret woods here soon. In the summertime, there are morel mushrooms, which we'll need for the exotic foraging bundle. Oh, I almost forgot we have a mine cart to go to. Oh great, we have some gold bars ready for us. Those will be perfect for our sprinklers. Until then, I'll make another iron bar to save that up for um, our axe. And just start collecting some more gold ore. And I did decide to bring my slingshot with me so I could maybe take out these shatter brutes from a distance because they're the reasons why I always get hit so hard. Uh, yeah, it works a little bit. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, maybe I should keep using the slingshot with me. I'm still getting hit pretty hard because I'm impatient, but... Gotta keep working towards that monster eradication goal. Oh! An iridium bar? Oh, that is fantastic! I don't have anything that I need to build with it just yet, but... Woo! That's a lucky drop. And I have hit level 90. <laughs> Just enough space to pick up whatever's in this box. Oh, the obsidian edge. Yay! Oh, that's going to be so much more helpful than this iron edge that I have. Yeah, perfect. This one's gonna last us quite a while in the mines. Let's pop up and make a few gold bars. What is it? Only nine o'clock? Uh, I think I actually have some time to... Because I have a whole bunch of gear that I could sell to the Adventurers Guild. I'm gonna drop all this stuff off to Marlin. Being that I now have the Obsidian Edge. Ugh. Don't even know what to do with this Iridium Bar yet. Yeah. I'll still have plenty of time to get down a few more levels, too. But this place closes at 11, I think. How much can we get? 200. That crystal dagger was worth quite a bit. All right, perfect. And cleared up a lot of space. I don't think I can get the lava katana yet. Nah. There isn't really anything else in here that I want. Mm. Honestly, I almost never buy anything from these guys. Alright, let's go on back. Probably won't get too much further down since it is already kind of late. But as long as we get a little bit more um, gold ore, I'll be happy with it. It's getting late and I almost just died right there, so we're gonna head out. <laughs> I'm not a coward, I just know how to make a proper exit. Sometimes. Fire quartz, uh, I should probably donate this one. One of the best things about fire quartz is when you smelt them, they turn into three uh, refined quartz bars. Gotta grab all my processed goods so we can keep those around the farm for when I need to make those sprinklers and a few other things. Oh, and grab all my basics. I'm still trying to decide when it is that I'm going to go and break down all of these geodes. Eh. For 25 gold each, eh, probably sometime in the summer when gold isn't so hard to come by because right now I'm just working on trying to spend all that money on upgrading things and building things. If I'm ever really in a pinch for money, I could sell this iridium bar, but uh, I think I want to hold on to them until, uh, until I have something that I want to create with it because I don't know when I'm going to be getting iridium. Not for a little bit anyways. 
And if I can start saving up those bars to start making, um, working on making an Iridium band once I get level nine of combat, the sooner the better with that for me. All right, suppose it's time to head on home. A couple more forgeables over here. And yeah, we'll just see what tomorrow has in store for us. A couple things I could probably sell. Let me drop these goodies off first. Iridium bar. Yes. And fire quartz for donating. This box is getting pretty full. I should probably clear it out soon or make a donation run here soon. Maybe, depending on what my luck's gonna be like tomorrow, I'll do some bundle drops. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh my gosh, I need wood so bad. That's brutal. Maybe I should plant some seeds so we can have a good flow of trees coming in. I want to save those leeks for George. The rest of the stuff, mm, eh, that's fine for now. Drink in for tomorrow, sell these aquamarine, and head on to bed. I can never get inside. Okay, good night, dog meat. And good night to all of you. I'll be dreaming of, oh, level up. Level up in farming. Oh, it must have been that one last strawberry we picked up pushed us over the edge. Oh, that is awesome. I'm so excited. I can start making some quality sprinklers, which I probably won't place those until it's about time for summer. I can make a cheese press and I leveled up in mining. Hmm. I like the miner is better for right now. I think just because I'm trying to collect as much ore as possible, I, I tend to like to go for the geologist a lot because I like the um, path it gets to eventually. Just because I like selling gems and things, but I think I'm gonna go with miner this time because that extra ore per vein will be very helpful and we can eventually get to Prospector, which will give us a doubled coal chance. And we made just a little bit of money from those aquamarines. On to the next day. All right, the 23rd day of spring and it is raining again. Hooray. Hopefully we keep this luck up. Oh wait, it's gonna be a festival tomorrow, the flower dance, so no chance of rain. But that's okay. I will deal with it anyways. Now honestly, I usually skip the uh, flower dance, being that I don't really have um, anyone that's at level four of hearts. Shane's the closest, but I doubt I'll be able to get him to four hearts before tomorrow getting close but yeah I'm not sure and our luck for today oh good humor fantastic this could be very helpful being that it's raining and all that good stuff now for springtime fish I still oh some green beans I still haven't caught a um, eel which you can catch in spring and fall on rainy days so or on rainy nights, actually, in the ocean. I might try my hand at that. But I do want to hit the mines as well. Kind of want to have an eel around for when I get a fish pond. So I can start raising eels to make spicy eels for when we hit Skull Cavern eventually. Uh, Dad's planning on retiring off of all the money I've been making. Has he been taking a cut this whole time? All right, flower dance. I'll go so that I have a chance to talk to everybody and get that um, exclusive scarecrow. I think I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm pretty close to 5,000 gold. I think I might upgrade my tool today too. 
since we have a festival tomorrow. And I really want to be able to access the secret woods by summertime. But before I send my axe away to get uh, worked on, I should probably gather a little bit of wood. Well, a lot of wood. I have nothing. Oh, hey, Robin, working on our coop. Should be done by Thursday, I think. Anyways, I just need a little extra wood to build a chest. I want to keep it inside of the mushroom cave. Yes, this way I can just stock up on all of the mushrooms that I need to eventually make life elixirs. And any mushrooms that I pick up around will probably just go into this box too. We'll switch over to common mushrooms once I have a good enough stock and I'm out of salmon berries. For now, I'm just going to toss those in there because I'm too lazy to go back up to my main chest area. It's almost nine. Well, it's 30 till. Oh, uh, wriggle worms down here. What else am I going to do real quick? Since spring's not over just yet, might as well check and see if we have some spring onions. Oh yeah, there's actually quite a few down here. Seems to be a pretty good day for foraging. Hmm, oh, I'm gonna go pop over to the ocean and see what shells and goodies we might have there. Just so I can get a little bit of extra money before I head over to Clint's and drop off this tool. Oh yes, lots of goodies. And... Old Mariner. He says I'm not ready for this necklace yet. It's not that I'm unloved, I'm just a very non-committal witch. <laughs> At least for now. Gotta find the right person, you know? Nobody stalks my schedule and gives me my absolute favorite things. Well, <laughs> not yet anyways. Alright, I think I've collected enough stuff to sell to Willie to have enough money for... Upgrading the axe. So it's gonna pretty much clean us out though. And let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, we got it with a little over 400, almost 500 to tide us over. I still need to gather another 2,000 before tomorrow, especially if I want to get that rare crow. It's a expensive, it's 2,500 gold. Blech. But it's worth it to eventually get the Deluxe Rare Crow. Hey, a Penny. I can't push her in. <laughs> Not that I would. <clears throat> uh, of course I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get this tool upgraded real quick and then head over to the mines. Gotta say hey to Clint first. Just a friendly hello to our neighborhood blacksmith lonely guy. We will get that back in a few days. The nice thing about Clint is he'll still work on it even with a festival. Hey Sam! Actually I want to see if um, I can get Shane up one more heart by giving him something he loves. After 12 so the saloon will be open. I think I have just enough money to buy a beer. Yeah. And nothing else I need. Or can't afford anyways. And see if we can track him down and give him a little gift real quick. A uh, little pick me up. Oh right. I'm antisocial, so I almost forget I should probably start saying hello to people, giving them gifts. This is for you, Gus. It's golden. I hope you appreciate it. It's not a diamond, but sure it tastes just as good. All right, where is Shane at? He's probably working today. Joji Mart is still open on Tuesdays. It doesn't close any day of the week, unlike some place that I know. I always forget to check that trash over there. Yeah, he is working today. Hey, ya Pam. Fancy seeing you in here. And Shane, here, I got this for you. Take a quick break. I'm sure no one will mind. Nope, still three hearts. 
Hmm. I guess we won't be dancing with anybody at the flower dance tomorrow. Oh well. I'm an independent witch and I dance to my own beat. All right, gonna hit the mines. Got some gold bars going on, fantastic. It's two o'clock, doing okay, I suppose. That's what happens when you have errands to do around town. I'll probably eat all the spring onions first. Yeah. All right, level 90. Eh, we'll probably make some progress. Love when there's a rock right in front of the ladder. I'll just get down a little bit until it's late enough that I can go to the ocean and maybe catch a, an eel or two. Ooh, I love when the void spirits drop full entire bars. Got a gold bar from that one. And a nice cluster of gold. That's what we have our bombs for. Gives us a lot of energy. Not that I'm short on energy anyways, but might as well use it while we're here. Perfect. We'll gather the rest of this stuff up. Maybe we'll get a ladder and get down one more level. And then at that point, I think I might head to the ocean. So I take out these guys. Back you back, that's my gold. Did see a ladder up in the top left corner. I think there's a crab guy over here too. Looks like it might be. I still wanna work on, yep. Taking these guys out for one of the, oh, nice, a bomb. Oh, and a diamond. Heck yeah. This is a good level. Anyways, I still kind of want to work on taking out the rock crabs because of one of the newer monster eradication goals, if I can get past this wall, for a higher defense because, man, I'm getting my butt kicked a lot. Nine o'clock, can get this last ore. We'll pop down one level and then, ah, and I'm almost full too. All right, back up. Oh wait, maybe one more rock crab? Yep, that's what he is. Let's take you out. And another bomb from him, which is part of the reason why I love the rock crabs. All right, smelt a little bit and let's head to the ocean. Actually, I think my inventory is gonna be pretty full. Yeah, so we'll probably head back home first and drop some stuff off and then go fishing for the rest of the night. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Mm, I think I might sell the silver quality strawberries for some extra money. Gonna save the gold ones for gifts for Demetrius and Maru. Got a lot of stuff we can drop off here soon. And let's head to the beach. I don't think I leveled up at all. Head to the beach and do a little bit of night fishing before we wrap this day up. It's okay if we stay out just a little bit late. I'm not too worried about having full energy tomorrow because it is a festival day. And for the most of it, we really only need to be watering our crops. And I think I'll have plenty of energy for that. All I want are two eels, one for my bundle and, oh, looks like this is gonna be one of them. And I need one extra, which I'm gonna be holding onto, lost book, holding onto for when I have a fish pond so I can breathe them a little bit. Looks like this is going to be a second one. Perfect. Lily, what are you doing out so late? 
I respect the water. I haven't tossed anything in it so far. And it's back to the old farm. Oh, looks like everyone's coming home from the saloon. Let's drop some stuff off. Save this in here. Probably sell this extra fish. And head to bed. Ooh, my jellies are ready. Did I put some more strawberries in? Oh, wait, actually, no, I'm going to be putting the salmon berries in so that I can donate one and not to feel too bad about missing out on the extra money. But I will put a strawberry in there next time. And after all the stuff I sold today, I think, hmm, I think I should have enough money for that, um, scarecrow. At least I'm hoping so. Alright, off to bed. Let's dream of level ups. Oh yes, a level up in foraging. Fantastic. Between forester and gatherer, I am definitely going with the gatherer. And, oh, and a level up in combat. I tend to always go for the fighter. Just, I feel like it helps me out a little bit more. The scout can be good, but the fighter is where it's at for me. Oh, and we definitely have enough money to get that scarecrow tomorrow, plus a little extra. Selling that diamond definitely helped. All right, and we are on to the 24th day of spring. Got one more day left in this episode. It is a festival day. Nobody loves me enough to dance with me. I'm gonna try and ask him anyways. Maybe if I talk to him a little bit, it'll be fine. It's gonna be clear and sunny tomorrow. Good humor today. Maybe I'll have a minute or two to pop up into the mines before the festival, as long as we get there in time. Oh, lots of things to harvest. Lots of strawberries and potatoes. And I have my recycling machine, so we'll just keep this over in the fish pond area or the crab pot area. Now that patch of 20 strawberries over there are the ones that we use the speed grow on. I'll definitely need to water them because I'll be able to get one more harvest out of all of those. And let's see. Oh, here pretty soon we're going to be able to make quite a few sprinklers. Well, I mean, I can make them now, but I'm not going to place them just yet. These next strawberries should be ready tomorrow, so we still need to water them. Oh, and the flower dance just started in the forest, but we do have until two to get there in order to participate. So I have a little bit of time to go do a couple of things around. Probably gonna hit the mines just for a little bit because I can. Yeah. I like to sell my higher quality crops because right now I don't have enough artisan processors and I'm working on getting more money. Because when we get our summer and fall crops, I'll be rolling in so much stuff that I can process that I'm not gonna even be worried about it. So I feel like I have plenty of gold right now. Oh, especially with those three bars right here. So I'm probably just gonna go and grab some more iron. Yeah, I only have one. Okay, so we'll hit some iron levels for a little bit and get out of here by uh, like 11, 30, 12. That way we can still make it to the festival and join in on the, uh festivities. <laughs> okay, level 40. Hmm, not a whole lot of ore nodes on this run. I'm only gonna have enough to make one iron bar. But we'll make some gold ones. It's fine. Uh, I'll just work on getting those later. All right, time to get all of our stuff put away and off to this dance I keep hearing about. 
Oh, it'll be fun to play around with the tailoring a little bit later and maybe dress up each time there's a festival. Definitely be able to do that for summertime, I think. I just gotta plan my outfits in advance. Ooh, I am cutting it close with 10 minutes to spare. Just made it. Now there are two bachelor and bachelorettes that are the easiest to get to dance with. Oh, let's buy uh, the, where is it? Oh, on the bottom, the rare crow. I keep that on the farm. Dang, that's expensive. And I'm not gonna get a chance to buy this recipe again until next year. I know it's a thousand gold, but look. Yeah, I guess I'll just pick it up anyways. I'm sure I can get my thousand gold back pretty quick. And I love the seasonal decor, but I just don't have enough money to spend on all of them. So I'm just gonna have to pick one of them. One of them looks like mushrooms in fall time. So that's the one I'm gonna go for. This is the one, if I remember correctly, the one with the box base. All right, and now I'm broke again. And I'm gonna make sure to talk to all of the villagers and see if chatting with Shane one more time boosts them up to four hearts. Otherwise, we are just out of luck for dancing. Hey, if any, what are you nervous about? Ooh, should I ask her? <laughs> no, I will get so rejected. Oh, the two uh, bachelor and bachelorette that um, is easiest to get to four hearts before this is Haley and also Shane because they both have birthdays before the festival. And if you give them something they love, that definitely boosts you up. I hit three hearts with Shane just by giving him one beer on his birthday. But if I had paid more attention throughout the earlier weeks of the season, then maybe we'd be able to dance with somebody, but eh, it's fine. Dance to my own beat, I do my own thing anyways. Not sure if I really want to commit to somebody this soon in the game. But it's still important to talk to everybody at the festivals, especially now that talking to them at the festivals can actually work towards your relationships versus uh, beforehand when it didn't really do anything at all. Oh, I shouldn't stand in this spot for very long. That's usually where Pam traps you. Although I'm pretty sure that's fixed. I just don't want to try it out. Hey, Abigail. Well, you don't have to dance if you don't want to. All right, Shane, three hearts. Let's talk to him real quick. And still three hearts. I don't know. Let's ask him anyways. Oh, oof, ouch. Rejected. That is, yeah, I'm going to live alone. Never mind. Well, I guess we'll just get this dance over with then. And like classic Creeper Wickety, I'm just gonna sit all the way back in this little corner, watching everyone having a grand old time. Maybe next year I'll show up with an outfit to match everyone else's attire. That would be pretty fun. That was fun. Time to go home. Was it though? Was it really fun? <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, that's the end of this day. We do have one seasonal plant. I'm going to pop this right here. And yes, my rare crow. I like this one. She's nice. She seems real sweet. Looks like a Sally to me. Maybe that'll be her name. Roscoe is up in the fields and Sally is to the side. I'll rearrange them when I get my summer crops going so that I can uh, maximize their usage. But that'll be okay for now because I'm not planting anything else for this season. I don't think so anyways. Mm, should I go to bed? It's still a little bit early. I could probably do a little bit of cleanup around the farm. Yeah, I've got a little bit of energy too. Why not? We won't have any level ups tonight, that's for sure, because we did very little. Oh my gosh, I need another box ASAP. Look at that. It is stuffed. Maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow. I keep saying I'm going to do it tomorrow and putting it off and putting it off, but I need to actually commit to cleaning up my organization. Okay. Actually, I'm going to grab my rod real quick because we can do just a little bit of fishing in this pond. There's a better chance of junk, and if we can get a, yes, perfect, a soggy newspaper. I'll start recycling those, and hopefully one of them, well, I only have one for now, but hopefully one that we get at some point will give us a bolt of cloth. All right, time for bed. Good night, dog meat, and good night to all of you. Oh, it was a great few days on the chickadee farm. I just made quite a bit of money off of those strawberries. Fantastic. At the festival, nobody loves me except for myself, which is all that really matters. <laughs> and actually, it was the potatoes that gave us all that money. Great. So that's it for this episode. Next one, we will be wrapping up the last few days of spring and getting prepped and ready for summertime. My coop should be ready, as well as the iron axe. I'm not quite to the bottom of the mines yet, but we've struck gold, so that's what's important. All in all, I'm feeling pretty good about my progress so far. Anyways, I greatly appreciate all of you for following along the Chickadee Farm. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I'm Wickedy, thanks for hanging out in the valley with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!